This is your News 4 update, powered by the Bomarito Automotive Group. I want to thank you for choosing News 4. Here are some of the stories making headlines. Right now, more essential workers in Illinois can get vaccinated. Three new groups were added today. Those include government workers, higher education employees, and the news media. These workers were not previously eligible under Illinois' Phase 1B Plus guidelines. St. Louis County leaders say they need more help administering vaccine and operating mass events as supply ramps up in the St. Louis area. They're calling on private doctors and health care providers to become vaccinators through the state. People without medical backgrounds are also encouraged to sign up to be ushers, supply staff, greeters, schedules, schedulers, and assist with registration and data entry. Plans are in the works for Fair St. Louis this 4th of July. We spoke to organizers today who say they're working on plans but are not quite ready to make a big announcement. This year's fair will be the 40th year for Fair St. Louis. They went virtual last year. Last week we checked in on plans for America's birthday parade in downtown St. Louis. Organizers told us they will also make a decision on this next month and the final go ahead from the city has not yet been given. Let's get you a quick look at your 41 forecast. Sam, there is no denying that we are putting the caps on a stretch of fantastic Fantastic weather hit 70 for the high on Monday, 70 on Sunday as well. Back to back 70 degree days. It's over. Tuesday's a rain day. In fact, there's even a threat of some severe thunderstorms. Here's the plan. Two rounds of rain and thunderstorms tomorrow. One comes in the morning. That is not severe, but the other comes mid to late afternoon into the first part of the evening and from St. Louis to the north and west. If the atmosphere can destabilize enough after that first wave of rain, it's a low end threat level one on this scale of one to five, but it is a threat nonetheless of some severe thunderstorms again from the metro back to the west and north. Something we'll keep tabs on some hail, some gusty winds, maybe even a brief tornado or two. That's more likely in central and northern Missouri, but I want to keep our guard up tomorrow just in case 65 should do it for the high amidst the raindrops and the rumbles of thunder tomorrow. Wednesday we turn a corner pretty quickly, partly cloudy skies, a high near 68, a mild start at 51. Don't get too used to it. Thursday right back into the rain, 70% chance of rain and some thunderstorms. That'll cool us off with a high of 62. Still above normal for this time of year. Friday looks good. The weekend by and large looks dry, but there is a low chance of rain that right now I'm targeting on Saturday. Stand by for updates though, because the timing and the placement on that could change. All right, Matt, thank you. That is your news for update. Remember, we're always on at KMOV.com and on your KMOV News app.